Hello friends and welcome back. Today I am going to demonstrate the working of an accelerometer. So let's get started. First go to controleverything.com and search for ADXL345. This is the sensor we will be interfacing today. ADXL345 is a 3 axis accelerometer. It has a data output resolution of 13 bit. I am going to talk more about the sensor later in the video but for the time being these are some of its features. Today, I am going to interface ADXL345 with Raspberry Pi using Java. For that, we require a Java code. For our Java code, you can go to resources and under Java code sample. The code can be downloaded from here as zip file or it can be found on GitHub. Go to github.com and search for control everything community. This is our repository for control everything.com. Search for our sensor ADXL345. Click it. And under Java, we have our Java code. Now let's proceed further and see what kind of hardware do we require for our project to work. For our hardware, we require a Raspberry Pi. These are the GPIO pins of Raspberry Pi. Next, we need an I2C adapter. This I2C adapter is available on controleverything.com. The purpose behind using an I2C adapter is to simplify the connection between various I2C devices and Raspberry Pi. To make a connection between I2C adapter and Raspberry Pi, put the I2C adapter onto the GPIO pins of Raspberry Pi and press gently. Next, we need our sensor, that is ADXL345. For connection, we require connecting cables. Make sure while you make connection that the brown wire of the connecting cable is connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same goes to the I2C adapter. To power up the Raspberry Pi, we need a micro USB cable. This micro USB cable is to be inserted into the power jack of the Raspberry Pi. To provide Raspberry Pi with internet capabilities, we require a LAN cable. This LAN cable is to be inserted into the Ethernet jack of the Raspberry Pi. If it happens so that you don't have a LAN cable, you can also use a Wi-Fi module. So this is all we need for our project to work. Now let's proceed further and see how to interface our sensor with the Raspberry Pi. To interface our sensor with Raspberry Pi using Java, we require a Java code. For our Java code, go to github.com and search for Control Everything Community. Search for our sensor ADXL345. Click it. And under Java, we have our Java code. Before we jump into the code, I would like to tell you that I have imported and used Pi4j library on Raspberry Pi. The link is provided so as to help for the installation of the library. I would recommend you to install the library first before you jump into the code. Now let's go into the code. Click Java and then adxl345.java. This is how our Java code looks like. Here I have imported all the things that are required for our I2C to work. I am creating a class whose name is same as that of our sensor. Under the main function, I am using a bus instance of I2C bus class. I am here creating a device whose I2C address is 0x53. Now I am writing onto the bandwidth rate resistor for normal mode and data rate is equal to 100 Hz. Now I am writing onto the power control resistor to disable auto sleep. Now I am writing onto the data format resistor for various ranges and full resolution. Here I am reading 6 bytes of data back from the sensor. Here the conversion of the data takes place. Now I am outputting my data onto the console of the Raspberry Pi. Now let's see how to upload our code onto the Raspberry Pi. To upload our code onto the Raspberry Pi, first copy all the code and go to terminal. Here using VI editor create a file name same as that of your class that is adxl345 and dot java extension. Paste your code and save your file. Now to compile your file, type pi4j and your file name and .java extension. It will take some time to compile. Now to run your file, type pi4j and your file name and this time without .java extension. This is our output. Now when I change the orientation of the sensor, the value changes and it changes again. So this is how our sensor works. 
Now let's proceed further. Now that we are done with the interfacing of ADXL 345, let's talk more about the sensor. ADXL 345 is a small, thin, ultra low power 3 axis accelerometer with a very high resolution that is 13 bit which can measure up to plus minus 16 G. Data is formatted as 16 bit 2's complement and is accessible either SPI or I2C digital interface. As per its application, it finds many applications like in handset, medical instrumentation, gaming and devices, industrial instrumentation and the list goes on. For any query or comment, you can contact us on controleverything.com. Make sure to post on our community page. We are happy to serve you. The sensor is available on controleverything.com and can be purchased from there only. For more interesting videos and articles, follow us on our Instruct tables. Make sure to like our video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. At the end, take care and thank for watching.